A brand new TV series about one of San Diego's most infamous serial killers airs tomorrow. Andrew Cunanan grew up in Rancho Bernardo before going on a killing spree. It ended with the murder of fashion designer Gianni Versace. Our tenure reporter Travis Rice spoke to those who knew the killer about why they hope the new show will put to rest the tragedy. Good evening. More than 20 years later, it still draws our attention, and here at Holy Cross Catholic Cemetery is where the notorious figure behind it all is buried. Some feel the dead should be left alone, and at the site where Andrew Cunanan is interred, his mother has requested no visitors or photographs at the grave of Gianni Versace's killer. However, that plea may be ignored by curious viewers once FX's latest American crime story airs. Fashion designer Gianni Versace was shot. The assassination of Gianni Versace is a nine-episode series detailing the story of cross-country spree killer Andrew Cunanan and his final murder at the doorsteps of the fashion designer's Miami villa. He was definitely a gigolo, and his whole lifestyle was uh, having... Um, wealthy patrons, as it were. Nicole Murray Ramirez remembers the days when Cunanan darted around Hillcrest. I don't think anyone really knew Cunanan. I knew a different aspect of Cunanan. Cunanan had many faces and many lifestyles. Murray Ramirez says there's been a rolling interest ever since the killing, but he can't wait for the spotlight on Cunanan to fade. He's probably dancing in hell <laughs> because he always wanted attention. It's sad to see that in some way his story may be romanticized. Roman Jimenez says covering Cunanan catapulted his profile as a journalist so he can't decry what is just another story on the killer. But I can tell you that Andrew Cunanan didn't assassinate Gianni Versace. He murdered him and he murdered other people who were sons and who were husbands and who were loved by their family and he left them behind. Travis Rice, 10 News.